I encrypted all my messages and files. Why would you do that? Because there are some people who can read it and know my darkest secrets. So how did I encrypt them? I used a method called substitution encryption. Now, what does it mean? According to Wikipedia, in cryptography, a substitution cipher is a method of encrypting in which units of plain text are replaced with the ciphertext in a defined manner with the help of a key. Okay, that units I got it. Maybe single letters, pairs of letters, triplets. Okay, stop. Of so I need a way to replace my one character with other random characters. For that, I need bunch of random characters. So go crazy on your keyboard. Then I need a dictionary that contains all the alphabets, numbers and characters that we use in our messages. Now it's simple. Use a for loop so that each character is paired with two random character lists. That means our one alphabet or number or special character can be represented by two random characters. But there is a problem. Even if I run it thousand times, it will give me the same key. So what should I do? A. Ask Google B. Ask ChatGPT C. Ask Google and ChatGPT or D. Quit And the correct answer is Option F. Shuffle the random character list Okay, now it's done. Let's run it Yeah, it works. Now just copy this key Now let's see how can I encrypt a message or a file using this key For each letter in the message, I will use it as a key to get its associated list of random characters from the key dictionary and then randomly pick any character from that list then repeat the process for the remaining message and then you will have a encrypted message now i will add some simple functionalities like do you want to encrypt a message or do you want to encrypt a file by using its file part now it's done let's test it i will encrypt a plain text pass it to the function Oh, you should return the encrypted message. Now, the message is encrypted. But, how do I decrypt it? In the decryption function, it iterates over the encrypted message. Then, another loop that iterates over the key of key dictionary, checking if each character in the message exists in that specific keys list. If it does exist, then that's the correct letter. By doing it for the entire encrypted message, you will have a decrypted message. Now again, I will add some simple functionalities and it's done. Let's test it. Sh okay, now it's fixed. It worked. It worked. It worked. And you can also encrypt or decrypt text files by providing their path and it should work. But once again, what about my images and videos?